Hello everybody, welcome back to Lair of the Overmind for some more Undertale. This is going to be the 12th installment. I'm going to go ahead and get right back in here. We just got an, app, an offer from Napstabluk to go and chill at his house. So we're going to take him up on that. Whoa, some cool looking houses. There we go, picked the right one right off the bat. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, it's a quaint little house you got here in Abstabluk. Let's see. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Sure, why not? <laughs> you play the CD. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Nice. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it? Sure, why not? Oh, well, it's the same thing, but with kind of a wave filter. Right on, right on. This CD, this CD is labeled ghoul -a day Music. Play it? Why not? That's a bit different. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. Yeah, it's not the most catchy thing ever. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Right on. Yeah, let's go back to this CD. It's a little less horrible sounding. There we go. <laughs> Computers, internet, browsers open to a music sharing forum. So yeah, you're a music nut. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Okay. What's in your fridge? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Sure, what you got? This is a ghost sandwich. I'm not sure we can eat that, nasty look. Do you want to try it? I'll give it a go. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. Uh. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Dude, you gotta cheer up, bro. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, let's go ahead and lay on the ground. Why not? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll, you'll lie down as long as you don't move. Really? <laughs> So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Alright, so I'll just kind of lie here momentarily, I suppose. Stare at the ceiling after that. Oh, music's gone. Oh, whoa. Oh, dude. I, I wouldn't quite say this is lying around feeling like nothing. This is awesome, man. I can see the universe! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty intense. Well, I don't know what was in that ghost sandwich, but, um... Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright. It's starting to trip me out a little bit. Well, that was nice. Thank you. No problem. No problem at all. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. You do that, Napstablook. We are going to continue our adventure. Let's see who lives here. It's locked. Of course it's locked. What do we got over to the right here? Ooh, nice. We got some snails. A snail with an awesome mustache. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. Go snail with Samuel. Okay. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Yeah, It's Toriel. Toriel from earlier is rubbing off on us a little bit. I've been long overdue for a second house. Okay. This snail is counting dollar bills. <laughs> it's a rich frickin' snail. Awk Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluck Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. 
but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. That's kind of depressing. Ooh, what do we got here? It's a racetrack. Right on. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Sure, let's give it a try. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Raining? Three, two, one, go. Go, snail, go. You can do it. Oh, you're getting further behind, it seems. Come on. Oh, you're starting to gain on him a little bit. Nope. Go! Go! Go, snail! So every time you encourage it, it looks like it goes slower. A little bit. Race end. Not even close. Oh, you both tried your best. But the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if we can even win that one. So, to, so you press the button to encourage your snail, but that makes your snail slower. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's see, North Blick Acres, East Hotland, and South Temi Village? Or question, question mark, Temi Village. Oh, snap. There's a Temi Village. Use the box. Let's see. No, I don't think there's anything in here that we really need. Let's see what's up here. Oh! Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale! Do you? Let's talk to you first. Anything you want to know? I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> Anything you want to know? Sure, about yourself. I already asked that. I already did that, dang it. Let's see that emblem. Eh, you don't know what this is? Eh, what are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> this is a Delta Rune, the kingdom of the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of our emblem, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Brand new emblem's meaning. The emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's an angel from prophecy. Anything you want to know? Yeah, about the prophecy. <laughs> oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been ta talking, taking a bleaker outlook. Calling the winged circle the angel of death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> Let's see, what about the king? What can you tell me about the king? King Fluffy Buns? He's friendly, happy go lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and. Oh, my hip! I mean, I mean, talk to people. Uh, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. <laughs> but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Okay. About Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she uh, just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I watch your back, kid. I'd buy some items, it might just save your hide. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what you have to purchase, my friend. Crab apple CT, cloudy glasses, invincible longer. Defense minus five, though. Torn notebook, invincible longer. So they bring your stats down, but your invincibility window after you get hit will be lengthened, I guess. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get the CT. Speed up in battle, sounds good. Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Too bad. Be careful out there, kid. I'll do my best, old old guy. I'll do my best. 
see what we got down here. Just a lake. There's nothing else in it. Do 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 do. Hurt, beaten, hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. <laughs> Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. See there again. You guys said in the book earlier that humans would never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic, but here it is. Magicians sealing you with a magic spell. I don't know how that makes sense, but all right. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. It's my horrible, horrible Morgan Freeman impression. <laughs> there is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Oh jeez, it's a lot of souls needed. But this cursed place has no entrance or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. <laughs> Pretty dramatic music. Oh, cool, we got a little bit of moon grass lighting the way, it looks like. Sweet. Show me the way. Yeah. Oh, special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Didn't we see a sign earlier that said something about a Tem village? Let's see. Flex. You flex to Temi. No, muscles are not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. No. <laughs> Just two of us, huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. The sweat is gross. Aaron is ready for your next flex, so this just turned into an Aaron fight. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You win. Bunch of money. All right. Whoa. I went off the path. What's down here? Oh! This must be the temp village. Nice. Hoi! Welcome to Tim Village! <laughs> nice. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right on. Hoi, I'm Timmy! And this is my friend, Timmy! Hoi, I'm Timmy! And this is my friend, Timmy! <laughs> Hi, I'm Timmy! Don't forget my friend! Hey, let me guess, Timmy. Hi! I'm Bob. <laughs> what? Uh, rich history of Tim. Just, just a dragon and, and Tim, huh? That's. I'm not quite sure what the story is there. You rode on a dragon, I guess, maybe. You feel something. <laughs> You're filled with determination. Oh, uh, right on. Hoy, you should check out Tem Shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Humans, such a cute. Um, I don't know about all humans being cute, but this one maybe. Them very, very small eyes. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. Okay. It's hard boiled. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be waiting till the end of your days, Tim. Feeling of being watched. Oh, sneaky Tim. <laughs> Tim heard of human allergies to Tim. That okay, Tim understand Tim. Also allergic to Tim. Oh no. Oh no. Hoives! <laughs> oh god. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Um, it symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by hype. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Yeah, I would probably go crazy if I was stuck in this area with this music till the end of time. Hoi, welcome to the Tim Shop. <laughs> Hoi, I'm Timmy. Say hi. Hoi, I'm Timmy. By yourself. Hoi, I'm Timmy. Okay. 
Chemi history. Us Thames have a deep history. Okay. <laughs> About shop. Yeah, go to Thames shop. I'm I'm here already. Uh, let's buy something. Pay for colleague. Thousand G. Colleague, Tim, pursue higher education. Yeah, I f uh, no offense, Tim, but I, f I feel you need it. <laughs> I feel you kind of need it. Sell some of these nice creams. You you got a nice creams. Then I gotta have that nice creams, but I gotta pay for colleague. <laughs> Tim always wanted nice creams. Buy for 3G? No. But, but. <laughs> okay, Tim, buy for 5G. Yeah, okay. Why not? 2G. Tough glove. 50G. Nice cream. 2G. Uh. Thanks, purchase! Okay, let's see. I wonder if we can actually fill up our inventory with the dog residue. I wonder if she'll buy stuff from us. Maybe we can get the money for Colleg just by selling random stuff. Looks like it. Dog residue, dog residue, dog residue. Go ahead and get rid of the CT. You you got a CTs! I gotta have a CT, but I gotta pay for Colleg! Always want a CTs! Buy for 6G! No. But... 9G! No. You will regret this! Oh yeah, I should've just sold it for the higher price. Alright, well I will be right back guys. I'm gonna go ahead and farm up all of that G so I can pay for Colleg. Alright, welcome back. We got our 1000 G, so we're gonna go ahead and pay for Tem's Kuleg. Yeah! Whoa! That's a lot of months! Can Tem really accepts? Okay, Tem go to Kuleg and make you prouds! Uh, you forgot your face, Tem. You might, you might want your face. Oh, back already, huh? Wow. That was pretty quick. Uh... Uh, where did you go? <laughs> Tim back from Kuleg. Tim learned many things. Learned to sell new item. Yeah. New item, huh? Whoa, Temi armor. 20 defense makes battles too easy. That's that's a lot of G's. Wow, that's a lot of G's. Um Yeah. I think I'm gonna actually farm up the, that uh, that dog residue, guys, and get that armor. Cause as expensive as it is, it's pretty shiny. And apparently, we're never gonna get EXP and get higher than level one and get more HPs. So that's probably a really good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I once again will be back as soon as I get all of that golds. All right, guys, be back soon. Alright guys, welcome back. Now, I've got a story to tell y'all. It may have just been a few seconds for all you peeps, but I had farmed all the gold and then went on for a good another hour and a half thinking I was recording. And I apparently wasn't. So, I also saved my game during that. So, not only did I have to, you know, re-record this, but had to replay through the whole game up to this point. Fun stuff, but it's okay. I farmed up the gold again. I was very, very determined, one could say. <laughs> I'm gonna jump back here in the Tem shop, and we're going to buy that Temi armor. 20 defense makes battles too easy. Yeah. Whoa, bag fulls. Oh no. I need to get rid of some of my dog residue that I still have. Let's see, I don't care. You've been buying so much dog residue, it's not even funny. <laughs> Should have like a giant stockpile of dog residue behind you somewhere. Anyway, you wouldn't buy that Timmy armor. Yeah, thanks, purchase. Alright, go to exit. Boy!
boy! Temi Armor Info. The things you can do with a college education. Raises attack when worn, recovers HP every other turn. In... Inv up slightly? What's Inv? Stat. We don't have an Inv stat. I have no idea what you're talking about. But that's cool, because we're going to don that Temi armor. And then be nigh indestructible, hopefully. I'm gonna use the box to get rid of the old tutu. Leave the dog residue. In fact, we should probably try to get a couple of dog salads. So we can heal. Go ahead and try to sell Timmy some more stuff. Yeah, there we go. I know you want dog residues. It's okay. I'll have plenty for you, Timmy. Okay, there's a dog salad. Let's farm until we get at least one more. Oh, kind of need the other dog residue in order to continue to make dog residue. Not dog salad, nope. There we go. Use the dog residue. Tell me I got no salad. Alright, so we're going to put this salad away. Then we're going to sell everything we can. Yeah, I know you want dog residue. You're so crazy for that dog residue. I have no idea why, but whatever. Let's see, we got one more dog salad, it looks like. It's fine. Two dog salads should serve us just, just fine for the moment. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and bring an end of the video here, guys. I think I'm probably running a few minutes later than I usually would like to. So go ahead and don't forget to give this video an awesome like or a great comment. Or feel free to share this with some of your friends to get them into some determination. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'll see you again in the next episode.